Hey guys, welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. We're on Planet Railgar. This is Blackwater City. We have to find Captain Quark and win the hoverboard races. But first, there's a vendor. There's a new weapon. The Mine Glove. Be sneaky and set exploding traps for your enemies. Yeah, we're gonna buy it just so we can have all the guns. So the Mine Glove looks like the Bomb Glove. Except the, the bombs don't just blow up on impact. So, you know, it's like a glove that shoots mines. I don't know if the name Mine Glove made that obvious. So we have, it looks like we have two paths to take. One of them requires the swing shot, so if you hadn't gotten that, you'd actually be kind of screwed. And the other way goes to somewhere else. It's kind of weird. Oh well. Let's go ahead and go this way, because there's less swing shottiness. Alright, and it looks like there are some enemies in there. I want to change my quick select. I'm actually not going to have the uh, gadgets on there because I think if I really need to use them, I can just go to the pause menu because they're not like they don't need to be selected quickly. That's just a uh, optional thing, you know? Okay, so that's how the mind glove works. Okay, there is a tank that shoots gas. Interesting. Glove of Doom! Okay, it's not very strong, though. Good for the tank. Doesn't mean it doesn't have to get in my way for too much. We got more bolts over here. And I actually really like this stage. Like, it's, it's got the right amount of atmosphere and darkness and stuff. The hell was that noise? Sounded like the freaking turban guys from Spyro the Dragon. That was the Glove of Doom, that's what it was. Duh. So there's a little barge here. And there are more of those weird exterminator bots. I think they're going after me because I look like a rodent. That's really the only explanation I can think of. Let's set that there. Then turn on the button. What kind of guns do these guys even have? I don't even, I don't want to find out. At least not yet. Oh, there are Meeboids. Meeboids break apart when they get hurt. So they're like every green slime enemy in every RPG. Or at least, you know, the, the important ones. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. More bolts, more ammo. Always good things to have. Especially bolts, because we just kind of spent all of them getting this mine glove. Oh, can we, like, be stupid? No, they can't hear us. Disappointing. But I think we can shoot them. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Lateral damage. Oh, that opens up the bridge. I do like this. This has a little reticle, like an aiming thing, because it's kind of necessary when you can't control your vertical and or your whatever horizontal movement so well. So this way, there's a button. Whoa, this elevator is kind of dizzying. I guess that's why they had the fixed camera position. So what's kind of funny is if you hit the button. The, the robots actually attack the uh, amoeboids first, but then they go after us. Which is why it's a good idea to like throw a bunch of agents of doom. Ow. Until you're down to one enemy and then you can just kind of take him out on your own. Really that's the best way because you can't aim very easily and move at the same time. Which is kind of sad, but hey, now we got a bunch of balls to pick up. And over this way, I think is the way we have to go. There's a stack of TNT crates.
And you're kind of, you may notice we're actually getting a lot more bolts overall because I guess the enemies are dropping more or something, I think. Over here. Yeah. Head downtown. How far away is downtown? Well, it's pretty close. Just on the other side of this wall. We're gonna hang out up here though until. Okay, until they finish with those guys. Hey, nerds! Come after me! Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on! I'm leading you to my death! Okay, I guess I'm not. You're not gonna fall for it. Blow up! Oh, there's a guy over there! Ow! Stupid exterminating gas! So before we talk to that guy, let's go ahead and pick up all of the bolts. Looks like over here there's a steam vent. Leads to some stuff. I should really remember to break the ammo crates one at a time because of the way they uh, drop ammo. Oh, they hit a TNT crate in there. I saw that. Rude. I think this is one of our... No, it isn't. Never mind. I was going to say it was like our first urban environment, but it totally isn't. Vendor has nothing new. There are some phone booths over here. Let's go ahead and take on this tank. Or rather, let's let them take on this tank. Hehehe. <laughs> Before we hit this button, I'm gonna go ahead and finally meet up with this weirdo. Rhino for your robot. Trade you. Well, okay, Ratchet. I'm kidding. Sorry, he's not for sale. What's a rhino anyway? Rip you a new one. What did you just say to me? R Y N O. Rip you a new one. Why, that's the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy. I know it's worth a lot of bolts. He must have stolen it from the Blarg. Stolen? Look, trash can. Did I say anything about it being hot? You better watch your mouth or I'll... Wait, don't tell me. Rip you a new one. <laughs> so, the Rhino is the strongest weapon in the game. It also costs 150,000 bolts. Odds are we're not going to be getting it during this run. But, you know, we can try. That's why we're like going for all the bolts. It's a bit overpowered. Oh, there's some stuff up there. That's why that's up there. And mine glove ammo. Okay, so now let's hit this button. Whoa, you can see the door of, like clip through the wall. It's kind of awkward. There's another button over here. Look at like another elevator that spins. Ah, that could be worse if it wasn't fixed camera. And here we're in a weird cave. Oh, there's like a stadium. Looks like oh, there's me boys down there. Ah! I have the best getaway skills. All right. There's another one of those weird yellow things. Oops. So this is going to be kind of a funny little encounter down below. I just wanted to make sure I had everything I needed. Dang it. So if you hit that button in the middle, the doors all open up. And there are, you can see some exterminators on the other sides of the doors. And it's a neat little fight. We're just going to get out of the way. And watch. <laughs> The exterminators are not terrible at their jobs. They're just a little bit terrible at their jobs. Like they aren't spreading out and attacking everything. Like they should be. Oh well. Let's go ahead and kill the survivors. <laughs> the Amoeboids won, so they get their their prize is a quick death. 
very quick flamey death. I could have dropped a person to doom, agent to doom, whatever. And then there... Oh, there's more bolts up top. Dang it, I have to go up for them. I need everything I can. Okay. Okay. Oh, another spinny elevator. We. I don't understand why they have to be spinny. Oh, this area. Okay, we're gonna... Taunt these guys. Wait, 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 did that just break the boxes? It does. That's awesome. See, now I'm all worried that, like, the next button I hit is gonna... Open up that one. Yeah. And button. Somehow I missed both of the times I tried to hit the explosive box and didn't hit it once. So actually the pyrosity is also really awesome against these guys because it just kind of kills them. Alright, then we go this way, this way, and this way, and then this button it actually leads back in because you saw me, maybe there was a gold bolt in the corner. So this is kind of a, another little pathway to take, but it, it honestly doesn't lead anywhere. It leads to some boxes, which I guess is good. One more button to hit. And then there was another button on the other side. And then we're going to do something kind of weird. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, but the button over here is broken. So this one just opens up this door, which leads to those boxes again. However, as you may have noticed, the roof is open. And actually... Oh! Dang it. I was going to jump up on that. To get to that gold bolt, you got to jump onto this guy. And then go this way. And we're rocking on precarious pathways again, and we just fell. Because we're the best at these kind of platforming ju puzzles. <laughs> if I'll get onto the thing properly, even Clank's like, dude, no. Okay. So actually, I think that the best way to do this is to just kind of jump between to make sure you land on the circular bits. Dang it. I'm going to try one more time. Actually, I'm going to try as many times as it takes because I'm very stubborn. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> okay. okay. I like platformers where the camera or the shadow is right under you because it helps with gauging jumps. Move faster. There we go. I was trying to rotate around. So, here we go. It only took one more try. Gold bolts. Spin. And it's mine. Disappears into nothingness. That's how you know it's mine. And I think this is just going to turn off that one. Yeah. And now we can head forward. Yeah, I love the parts where you just have to wait. Oh, I have to do this. Hey, I came back and you were dead. Okay, 
so we are just about where we need to be. Once we get there, we're going to go ahead and stop. No, this one spins the other direction. How could you? And hey, there's a open field. So if you actually were to stop the game and reset, you'd get bugged because you hadn't triggered the taxi to go down, but you never triggered the door to let you back up here, but the elevators wouldn't work. So you'd be kind of trapped. So before we really end this, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen and blow these guys up. And here you can see, this leads to something else. Anyways, next time on Ratchet and Clank, we're going to talk to this lady. At least I think it's a lady. Yeah, that's a lady. Okay, so yeah. I'll see you then, guys. Take care.